photographers have kind of been let down by Instagram, or at least that's what lots of people are saying because it appears it's becoming a video platform and you can't succeed with photos. You join me for part two of this series where we're trying to find out if this is the case. As a photographer, I chose a subject, which is Star Wars minifigures, and I'm gonna be taking photos and posting three photos onto a totally new Instagram account every day for one week, and we're gonna see how much traction we get. So far, we've released six photos, and we've got four followers. We still have five days to go, and today is day three. Today's plan is simple. I'm gonna choose another minifigure or a few. We're gonna take three photos and post them. But today I'm gonna to run you through the posting process in a little bit more detail in case you were wondering. So step one of the process is choosing the subject. And for me, that means choosing which minifigure to photograph. I've chosen two clones and one droid. Just like we did on day one, I'm going to isolate them against the black background. That will bring out the drama in the minifigure themselves as opposed to on day two when we took them into the real world. It will also match nicely to the grid which I'm creating on my homepage. And here you can see the three photos that I settled on and here you can see the edits. So, now that we have three fully edited photos, it's time to start the posting process. So, it's a very simple process. You press the plus button at the bottom, which opens up a gallery. You can then choose which photo you want to post, and click the arrow at the top. Now, from here, you can move your photo around, you can zoom it in, you can put filters on it. My photo, however, is going to stay as it is. I'm just going to centre the clone trooper and go to the next page. And now you start putting in the details. For the captions, I'm going to write a quote for the clone trooper and then I'll copy in a bunch of hashtags that I've just got on my clipboard just to make it easier for me. Now, a little trick that I often do is go and tag people, tag random people into my post. They'll get a notification and it'll link my channel to theirs. So I'm just gonna tap on the screen and I have a clone trooper. So I'm gonna search in clone trooper. And here we have some clone troopers. So there I can see we've got someone with a Lego figure, a Lego clone trooper as their profile. So I'm gonna tag them. Now, I don't wanna to tag too many people. I'll probably settle for somewhere between three to five. This is because sometimes Instagram won't let you tag certain people. For some reason, I've had issues where it'll stop me tagging people. And that means that I won't get any tags on my post. This might just be me. And if you know why this is happening, put it in the comments down below, cause I'd love to hear and shout out to anyone who I'm tagging on my post. So I'm just gonna settle for three for this one. And that is all I want. Press tick and it will share my post. I'm now gonna do that twice more with my other two posts. Here you can see it says try again later. We restrict certain activity to protect our community and that is what I mean by not letting me tag people. I don't know why it's doing this. If you do, go down below and tell me please. I click finishing up and it posts it just without any tags. It's a bit strange. Always finish by liking your own post. Why wouldn't you? Now, if you're super observant, you will have noticed it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna wait until later in the day before I post another photo. I'm not sure if spreading the photos out has a better effect or just putting them all on at once. So today I'm gonna spread it out and do a bit of editing for now. And by the end of day three, we have eight followers, which isn't that bad, but considering it's day four and we're halfway through the challenge, I want a few more than 16 followers. So today we're ramping it up. We're gonna be doing something my mum says you should never do, and that's playing with water to get awesome photos.
Now, as I'm trying to ramp it up, I've got to think of a type of photography that's really cool, that makes people look at it and just go, wow, that's awesome. And I thought about one style of photography that often works very well, and that is reflection shots. You can do that using water or glass, and I've got a tray here. So I'm gonna put my minifigure inside the tray. This is Ahsoka Tano, she's on a little bit of a stand, so she's slightly elevated, and I'm gonna fill it with water. It's not quite enough, I'm gonna have to refill. And we now have quite a few awesome reflection shots. It's got very cold in the studio since I started shooting, so I'm gonna pop on this jacket, but while I do, here are the photos. You've seen me post the photos on the previous three days, so I'm going to post them in a similar fashion. I'm going to spread it out throughout the afternoon and post all three. But today, what I'm also going to do is outreach to people who have followed me or interacted with my posts. I'm also going to go through and follow a bunch of people who do similar things, just to try and network in the, in the community that I'm posting into. Now across the top here you'll see I have quite a few people that I am following and who have posted stories. So we'll just go through these stories and like the ones which are good. Mainly the Lego Star Wars ones. Now that's all of them for now. I've also got these posts obviously from people that I have followed. Now here we have suggested for you. I can also see that people who I'm already following are also following these people, so I'm just going to go through and follow the people who seem appropriate to what I'm doing. This one looks very cool. That profile photo is awesome. So, moving on, you can now see on my homepage I'm now following 36 people, which is quite a few. I can scroll through here and do a few more. Now, we've built up the people we're following, that means we're appearing in a few people's feeds. They will then be notified about me, they can look at my stuff and decide whether they want to follow me or not. The next thing to do is to share their posts in my story, to mention them. It will bring their attention to me and hopefully generate some growth. I like this one. And it was five days ago, so it's still relatively recent. I'm going to post that to my story. And say awesome capture. Bye. And to clarify, I'm not only doing this for growth, I do think that these are awesome photos. It's definitely something which I'm going to take inspiration from. Doms underscore SW underscore minifix. Shout out to him. go and I'm gonna put that on my story I'm gonna do this a few more times and this is another thing I'm gonna do for the rest of this challenge each day I'm just gonna choose a few posts and repost them on my story hopefully to get some more traction